Nintendo. Ooh, what is this? 1994. Hmm, let me see. Another Nintendo. How many times does Nintendo need to say Nintendo? Presents. Oh, there we go. That's why they said Nintendo, Nintendo. Aha. Metroid 3. Hey, everybody. It is me, Twister Windstalker. How's it going out there? And, of course, we're playing Super Metroid 1994 Nintendo. And we're getting ready to go to Semya C, which has no data, of course, as you can see. And I'm going to scroll down to control settings, set the shoot to Y, the jump to B, and of course the dash to A. I don't know why I'm hesitating here. Of course, I'm going to leave everything else okay and hit end. And then I'm going to go to special settings, which actually has no point. And I'm going to turn on um, Moonwalk, which is pointless, but whatever. The last galaxy is in captivity. Oh, the last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever. We all know there's a bunch of poop. And if you guys want to read this, you are more than welcome to, of course, pause this. All she's doing is talking about her exploits in the first game, which, if you haven't played it, is actually a really good game. It can be confusing. This is the last fight with Mother Brain, obviously. Um, I've played it like ten times. I've beat it like half fat, and now she's talking about. Metroid 2, which was on Game Boy, uh, yeah, the original Game Boy, I almost said Game Boy Color, what am I thinking? And of course, this is the end of the game, after you beat, I don't even remember what that end boss name was, but after you beat it, the baby follows you around, she's saying she's delivering it to Sirius, so that they can study it. Give it to some lead scientist. I don't know. Um, and I guess basically she's saying that the power of the baby Metroid is enough to power a small city. I guess is what she's trying to get at. Or make some kind of protective weapon like Star Wars-ish or something. I don't know. And she was satisfied so she left because she's a bounty hunter. And bounty hunters go and find bounties. Bounties! The quicker picker upper. Anyway. And then these space colonies under attack. And her ship's flying toward it. And this basically serves as a training level. And you ride the elevator down. And it's all peace and calm. And it's basically teaching you how to move left and right. And do a little jumping. Um, I don't know what that was about. Might have had something to do with my recording. I don't know. Whatever. But. Oh look. There's the Metroid's gone. And some scientists are incapacitated and uh, oh look the baby Metroid's on the floor that was kind of easy wasn't it and why am I jumping around if you know I'm supposed to be picking up the baby oh what's this oh it's Ripley and this is basically teaching you the fundamentals of fighting for the most part because dodging shooting even though you could have done some shooting running through the ship even though there's no bad guys but whatever and it really doesn't matter if you get hit or not because uh it's not like you can really die um unless you don't really do enough damage to ripley i guess you can actually technically die but you generally can't die um ripley when 
When bosses take damage, they change color, and Ripley is changing to kind of a pinkish color, which is letting you know you're doing some damage, and voila, you're down to 15, and I don't know if I got it enough, but anyway, you got a minute to get out. Boy, it went from a minute to like 74, it's like, bam, wow, that was ridiculous. It's like the game can't make up its mind whether it wants to give you a minute or if it just wants to give you like 59, 74. Either way, you should have plenty of time to get out of the um, space economy. And you're working your way out, working your way, and I got hit by steam. Crap. But the reason I'm doing this is because all the VHS tapes of my previous game footage has been played so much that they are no good and can't play and my notes somehow have throughout the years got ruined and planet zebes and um so i'm doing this again for my friends and you guys out there in youtube land and i'm going to try to keep my videos around 15 minutes this one's almost 16 minutes. I'm going to keep it around 15 minutes because I think that's a nice good number. And we're landing on Planet Zebes now. And obviously I'm not really playing. I'm watching my footage and playing. Because I forgot all about my Zoom H4N. And uh, that I could record myself while playing. So this first video is definitely me without um, recording anything. So... This is just me just, you know, going down. Going down. And, um, you don't actually have to open that right now. You can actually technically save it because until you get the, um, uh, morphing ball and the bombs, it's pretty much pointless. I do it just as a marker of a point of interest. And look, the original way out from the original Metroid. In case you didn't know, this was the way out. Because this is the room where you fought Mother Brain. Of course, ironically, in the previews, she was remembering the glass didn't get busted out that badly. So you kind of wonder what happened to most of it. So, we're taking an elevator ride down. And I have to say, this is on my top 10 list of favorite games. I still play this game today. I'm a little rusty. So, Morphin Ball! So, excuse me for playing a little slow and a little sluggish and not being able to do some of the spectacular things I'll probably do once I warm up. Because, um, yeah. And here you can shoot your way down, and um, this is where you pick up your first set of missiles. And the second time you use the morphin ball, missiles. I always felt that message stayed on the screen a little too long. I mean, I know that they play a musical key there so that you can, you know, know. But I just think it just sits there way, way too long. And uh. You don't technically have to go through this pink door. It's kind of an option. But I go ahead and do it because I like to go ahead and get as many missiles as possible. Which, of course, makes the second light go off. But now you have ten missiles. Or, if you didn't skip this part, you will have ten missiles. If you, you're free to skip this part and just keep going because... Eh. I'm just the kind of person that likes to get as many missiles off the gate as possible. And, uh, now I'm backtracking to the elevator. Riding it up, 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 and up. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, look, the power's back on. Hmm. I wonder what all that's about. Oh. Look, I killed a bad guy and another bad guy. And I almost got back all my missiles. Yeah. 
all my missiles. There's ten missiles. Which, technically, on the first mini boss, you don't really need that many missiles. I mean, you can pretty much do it with your regular shot. But I prefer to, you know, just whatever. And I tried to do a wall jump or a wall kick jump, whatever you want to call it. And it didn't work. I think I needed to jump a little lower. Get it to work properly. But, of course, the wall jump I used to be a lot better at. And, you know, you tear up this wall pretty quickly. Not as quickly as some people have seen that can just, just keep that spin going and bump up the wall, bump up the wall. But, oh, I actually got it to work that time. Of course, I'm also using a controller that pretty much wore out. I used to keep one specific controller just for Metroid. And then have one specific controller for fighting games. Because fighting games tend to see is to uh, wear out quick. Because of the way you have the rocket and everything. But I just pretty much gave up on that. And now my controller is pretty well worn in. and It's the original controller with a game console and um, I've had my Super NES since like 94 and all oh, that was a stupid hit I shouldn't have got hit but whatever and now of course like I said you're backtracking yeah and here's some bad guys and more bad guys and uh, you don't technically have to do this I fired off an extra shot. This is another one of those. I can't believe I didn't notice that. that I, I should have deactivated that sooner. I didn't mean to fire off all those missiles. But like I always say, it doesn't really matter because getting missiles back is pretty much simple for the most part in this game. I mean, it's easy peasy. Or peasy easy. I don't know. Either way. And here's the map room, which if you're doing a speed run, you're probably better off not doing. I just like to have it because I like to have to complete the map. Because it helps later on in the game, I have found. Especially when you have to backtrack and uh, go places where you couldn't go before because you didn't have the right item. Because this game is all about backtracking. Getting the right item. And uh, getting stuff, basically. And I leave. I'm pretty recovering my power and getting my missiles back. And of course, I'm not going to be able to go any further in here because I don't have the bombs yet. But I like to, you know, further along the map when I can. If I don't forget, of course, because well, I'm liable to forget. And I uh, got almost all my missiles back. I'm going to do a little saving, even though I don't have to. I'm pretty confident in my abilities, but it, I don't know. It's like, I feel like anytime you can save, you should save. Especially if this is your first time playing through. Because, uh, it definitely, definitely, definitely helps. And, uh, jump. Oh, that was a BS hit. But anyway, and I'm going to have a little, uh, problem. Looks like. Oh boy, got all my missiles back. Good. Awesome. Awesome as a possum. I don't know what that means, but um, possums aren't really that awesome. But, um, so yeah, you go up here, come out here, and you run, and you normally want to hold the A button and run through them and quickly hit the down button to roll into the ball so you can just. Do that without taking any hit, but, uh, yeah. And in here, I'm going to get back some life and everything before fighting the final boss, because, well, I'm just like that. Well, not final boss. What am I saying? First mini boss. Gosh. And, yes, I count it as a mini boss, even though, um... It technically probably isn't a mini boss, but I'll just say heck with it and call it a mini boss. 
And basically what I'm going to do is run back and repower back up my um, missiles and get some health back before I go on into the first mini boss room. Yes, the first mini boss. The boss of the minis. Wait, what? Anyway, um, that's basically what I'm doing is getting life back. If I can stop me and hit so dang much. And get my missiles back. Because uh, it's not really that important to do it. I just like to do it. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe. And I will see you guys later, alligators.